Yo, what it do? Welcome back to another episode of Three Wands. It's your dude, Lord Shu. I'm back. What's good? Where you been at? It's good to see you. Thanks to all my returning subscribers. Thank you to you if you're new to the channel and have never seen any of my episodes before. Run it back. I got so much content on this channel. I'm also a musical person, so you can always check out my music. I just dropped a new song not too long ago called Super Caps, featuring Phelps VJ. Me and him been holding it down in the music scene since 2013. So y'all check out this song, Super Caps. It's on my channel and it's on all streaming platforms. Check it out. So today we are back talking about keys to the island. This is the third step in the keys to the island. We are going to speak about rolling out a project. Now I want to give you a, a exemplary example of what a good rollout looks like. I'll give you two options. So option number one, if you haven't listened to Donda by Kanye West, well, yay, the artist formerly known as Kanye West, then you need to study Kanye West's marketing rollouts for his albums. They are always amazing. Donda, to be specific, was the number one most expensive album rollout ever. So I uh, suggest all who are watching the channel to please do your research, like I always say, and look into Donda, the album by Ye, and look at how he rolled the album out, what specific marketing tools he used, how he communicates with the people, how he gets involved with the people around his projects, and also his creative process. I think it's important to know yourself as a creator, uh, whether it be in digital or in the real world, is to know who you are as a person. And Kanye is good for that. He knows how to tap into who he is as an artist. And he also brings people around him that fit that vision. And also because of that, they bouncing off all this positive energy to create great projects. There's so many artists that he brings into the studio um, another one I would like to mention who has great album rollouts is Jay-Z. Now these are music artists, but I'm just talking about pop culture and what's popular for the times. They go platinum several times, but the rollouts. Jay-Z just got his uh, lyrics put on, a, on a, um, either a library or a museum. Things like that. These, are, these to me are great rollouts because it just gets the hype and people going. How do you hype people up? You know, there, it's an art. You got to know how to hype up your community. If they aren't already hyped from what you're doing every day, people should be telling you. People tell me all the time, Shu, everything that you do is just amazing to me because I see you everywhere. You do so many different things. I'm just amazed how you have time to sleep and manage your family. Well, if you didn't know, I made this my life, okay? My life is my art. My life is my creation. You know, I feel as if I wouldn't have a life if I didn't have my art and my creations. So I live through that. Every day I put effort towards what I'm doing in regards to my art, my writings, doesn't matter. I'm right here on camera right now creating content for you to prove that I stand by it. So it has to be almost a lifestyle like Keys to the Island, how I live my life. I live by this. It's not something that I just do every day just to be doing it so that I can impress people. No, this is my life. It's just so happened that I share my life with you people because I care about people and how to help them out. I want to give back to my community by providing great content for everyone to watch every day that can just be like that push. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a fan of me, like Ye says, if you're a fan of Kanye West, you're a fan of yourself. I don't try to go out here and make things a certain type of way so that people can buy my music. I don't guilt trip them into buying my product. None of that. If I do something, it's genuinely. So that's number the number one thing in this lesson today is gen how to be genuine. People, people know. They can pick up on that. Even people who aren't super aware can pick up on when you're in genuine and you're just trying to sell them something. You know, put your effort into being a genuine person and truly showing people that you care about helping them and that you have something, you have an offer that they can't refuse. Not to sound like a mob boss or anything, but that's essentially what you're doing. You gotta show people that, hey, I am the leader in this industry. I am a mob boss in this industry. 
And I need you to understand that I didn't create this because I want money. I created this because I feel like you needed this specifically. And without it, I feel like you'll be missing out on a piece of yourself, on a piece of your own life. Now, there's a way to translate that. And that's pretty much the past two steps that I've given you. So it just takes a lot of research of knowing who you are and knowing what you're trying to provide and really being a master at that. Mastering your craft as well. Knowing how to bring out the pieces and people that y'all can reflect with. If I'm a ha naturally happy person, I want to bring out the happiness of other people so that they can relate. Hey, I'm a naturally happy person too, man. I really vibe with you. I like what you're doing. How can I help you? This is this is what we're trying to do is foster communities. We want to do this because it's going to take away the separation in the world. It's a lot of things keeping us separate and not working together. So I'm working my hardest to prove that we have no differences. All it is is made up in your mind. So that's the most important thing to me in my personal life is making sure that I make it seem like, well, not even make it seem. You can do it. Anybody can do what I'm doing right now. It just takes a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of uh, very small planning. I don't strategize a whole lot. I just make my schedule for the week and I follow through. So when you're rolling out, you got to you gotta create a storyline through your rollout, and through your marketing. It has to make sense to who you're telling the story to. They need to understand the story from beginning to end. How do we get from here to here? How can you tell that story in whatever way that fits your niche and is creative and inspiring? So think about that the next time you do a rollout for a project. Um, this is just step three. There is still more steps that along the way. But that's pretty much it for today's episode. Please, please click the like button if you like this video. Also, leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. What are you doing? If you're a returning subscriber, again, thank you. I always appreciate and love you. I know you're probably already on my email list, so I'm not going to say nothing. You you already know what's going on. I got new blog posts coming every single week. Y'all check them out. I, I really appreciate y'all. Y'all need to join the Discord. If you haven't already signed up in the Discord and see what we're doing in our community every day, please sign up. Thanks for watching another episode of Three Wands. It's your man's Lord Shoe. Holla!